What are the costs associated with a ransomware attack? Hey everyone, Alex Moen here with today's BizTech Tips. Uh, according to a report released by Coveware, the average ransomware payment this quarter uh, went up 33%. It's up to $111,000 now. Um, but the mean ransomware attack is still in the low to mid $40,000 amount. So uh, for those of you who don't know, the mean is if you took a list of all the ransomware attacks, it's the one right in the middle. And it, that's still pretty much the same. So what that means is that the large enterprises who are at the top, theirs actually have skyrocketed the um, amounts that are they're charged there. So what's happening? Uh, many cyber attacks, they got a lot worse because with people working from home, security has been a lot worse as well. So they've been able to take advantage of that. Um, or lots of them were actually healthcare organizations that were targeted and they were, they've just been overloaded. So those businesses, they had much, much higher ransomware attacks this last quarter, and that brought the average up. Um, the average indirect costs, though, are what really hurt most organizations across the board. Um, and that's really the worst part. So on average, they are having almost 10 days of downtime, and they lose about 8% of their organization's data. Um, that's pretty typical. And that's not even to mention the unmeasurable things like what's the loss of trust or if the customer's data gets out, you know, the loss of brand or, or things like that as well. So ransomware attacks, they're primarily happening from three things. So first, phishing emails, second are software vulnerabilities, and third is just remote desktop protocols being compromised. Let me know if you have any questions. Make sure that you're staying secure, especially if you're working from home, and have a good one, everyone.